the final chapters of Earth. Is it really? Oh, I'm going to explain this so beyond our comprehension. I'm going to tell you why these challenges are showing up and why we have more and why you can relax. You can actually go into what's going to start happening more and more with completely different frame of mind that could actually like be an epiphany. Such a positive experience for you from this moment onward till you transition into something even more amazing. Are you ready for this? I think you're going to love it. Of course. Let's go. Welcome to Leandria Anka on YouTube here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. I'm so tired. I got up at 5.30. I was writing. I've got five books going and three courses and and then I get ideas and downloads when I go for my walk. And I run in here and I have to talk to you because we have more to come. And I'm going to tell you why and why you can relax. Yes, I didn't say it was going to be easy, but you can relax. Because what I'm about to tell you could change your mind about every challenge that happens from here on out. All the challenges on our planet are a direct result of us as a species. Our actions, our beliefs, our thoughts, all of it is happening via our creation of it, not to us. It's not happening to us. You aren't on a prison planet. You're on a chosen planet of absolute 100% free will. So everything you're seeing is the result of free will of avatars, that's what we are, that chose to experience the darkness, the contrast of what we are so that we could know that better. We are also here to break through it and to go into spiritual involvement as the lowest form. Here's the game. Can you forget exactly what you are? Forget that what tr what is true is actually just unconditional love, amazing. Can you feel the absolute opposite of that? Forget what we are and reconnect to it. We've got, never lost our connection, but we must know it. Can you do it? That is what we're here for. We're here to go into consciousness. We are the unconscious mind of God learning how to reconnect to consciousness. That means a realization through choices. So whatever choice you make here, or humanity's made here, everything here is a result of these decisions. We've made some very low level, low density decisions. Therefore, in order for us to evolve spiritually, this must be corrected. So we get to loop around. There's no such thing as time. We're going in the circle. In the circle, we get to redo everything and make it right. You know, there's no right nor wrong, but make higher choices. Everything's coming back around. I told you about the boomerang effect. Until you master the class, you can't graduate. Everything we're seeing is us. We've done all of it. All of it. Pollution, we've done it. We're complaining about it, and then we continue to use plastic and everything else that's really not healthy for us. You might be putting fertilizer on your lawn. Our manatees are dying from that. And then saying, we've got to do something about it, you know, and going to the government, when actually we're totally in control of all of it. It can't exist if we don't use it. And the more aware we are, the more we make others aware without forcing our own, uh, let's just say, choices on them. But helping them, leading the way that they can choose to take that path if they want to or not. We start to evolve spiritually. Therefore, by correcting these things that have caused all the issues right now, we then have a different outcome. And the world goes into the Great Awakening. It already is. The Great Awakening 
but you don't have to participate in it. It's still an individual choice because there's unlimited probabilities. So you might be living in one that still remains in low density, blaming the world and believing that this material person that you see in the mirror is, is you and that you don't have capabilities beyond that. So what's going to happen right now is every possible scenario is playing out because we're choosing Great Awakening, the Great Awakening. We're choosing Awakening. Therefore, we're sending out that directive into the quantum field that we are going to correct and raise the frequency of all the old decisions and create a new earth. So in order to do that, if everything has to be cleansed, it's dirty laundry. So it's all in there. We got to clean all of it, right down to the undies, yeah? All of it's in there. The towels, the washcloths, all of it. So everything has to come out and be cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. You can't just wash one towel and say this is all, everything's done. So we have every single little piece of what has been a lower frequency decision collectively has to come back around to us to do it right now. We're talking about more health issues happening, more fear out there. We've had this stuff forever. I mean, what's new, right? Some of it is worse than others. Most of it's uh, a lot of false information, so it scares, puts a lot of fear in people uh, unnecessarily. And the stuff's real, of course it's real. But then there's more stuff coming because now we can be an addicted, addicted society to fear and running around keeping the, the big boys uh, happy by uh, giving us more crap, right? Yeah, I'm not dis dissing that. I'm just saying that there's a lot going on that's not necessary, and we all know that, right? That's just how it's always been. We have to start living differently. We have to do our research, and there will be no illness because we're in fear. Fear creates all of that because our immune systems are lower. We're making low choices in how we live. Therefore, it creates diseases, and so therefore, it's just a cycle. We have to end the cycle. So here's, yeah, tighten your seatbelt. Okay, don't be scared. We're okay. You're always okay, all right? There's no ending. You're eternal. You are bliss. This is just temporary. I mean like this. What you do now is what counts. This is a major, major master school. So you have to make some very, very high decisions. We're going to be tested in every area of our lives until, and it's going to keep coming around, these health things, things are going to keep coming around until we master it and figure out what we need to do. And it's not just putting a Band-Aid on everything. That doesn't do anything, right? That'll heal and if you, you know, pick everything off. So my question to you is, how are you going to handle the next, uh, just say, challenge? All right, so are we going to treat each other well through it? Because it's our community. It's not about the illness itself. It's about the community and coming together. And if we, do, if we don't do that, if we're still fighting amongst each other about how things should be done and forcing your opinion on somebody else or me telling you what to do, that's right, then we're st we still haven't gotten it. And it's going to keep coming around and coming around until we figure this out, that we have to band together. And that's the only way that we're going to survive as a planet. Because something's going to take us out if we keep this up. And until we master this, it's going to keep going and going with finances, illness, relationships, uh, you know, separation, diversity, racism, all of it's going to keep getting worse and then others are going to get it. So that's why I tell you this split's happening. I see people worn out. I just shot a video. Uh, fed up or zero tolerance? There's a difference. Non-participation? or just don't give a crap anymore. There's a difference. And when you give up, you're missing a great opportunity. Big one. Because you know what, sometimes I, you know, I work like I 5.30 today and I'm working, 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 I'm saying, you know what, I'm gonna do this till the last, my last day here. And sometimes I just stop and say, I'll never quit. I won't quit. No matter what happens, I won't quit. I won't give in. I won't quit. I won't. Will you? What's the alternative, right, to going and doing your best? Giving love. Just giving. 
you know, I have inventory, women's inventory from things. I was going to start an online uh, shop seven years ago. <laughs> didn't go well. I didn't have the training. This is why I'm always showing you guys this. I went and got this training and everything turned around. But I have inventory that I should have never purchased because I didn't do my homework and do a strategy first. Now I know how to do that. But I pulled this out of my locker two days ago because somebody said that we were going to raise money for our friends over there who are struggling through these horrific events. And um, they're going to have a silent auction. So I went into my locker and pulled out all kinds of things. And I have to tell you, I found some really beautiful things. And I went, I'd really like to keep that. And I thought, no, give, 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 just give, just give, give. So I have, oh, I get, you know, this beautiful purse. But look at what that purse could do if I gave it and raised money for medical bills for people that are going through horrific things right now. So you have to make these choices. It's easy to say, nah, what's one purse? A couple hundred dollars could make a big difference for somebody in a situation that could be life or death versus me having some really cool purse on the weekend to walk around with. There could be times when you don't want to do certain things. There could be times when I just want to lay in bed all day and just go to the beach. I'm right on the beach. But I get up and I say, you know what, I love what I do and I love the response I get from you. And people say, I just needed to hear that. And I thought, I just needed to give it to you. And that beach, yeah, I take breaks and I walk out there and watch the dolphins. Life is good. There's a really nice balance and you can make a huge difference on this planet. It's beautiful and it's painful. And it's, yeah, it's sad. But don't be sad for anybody because we all came here to experience this. It's sad because we get to experience sadness. But we're all light beings that came from the one. We, we all go to this beautiful place when we leave here. So, you know, it's just the experience that's, that's you know, really testing us. Because it has to feel real. If we knew really what we were, if we truly felt that, you'd go into the awakened state. And you would never suffer again. You could still feel pain. You still feel the pain because you're here, you're experiencing that. But I want to tell you right now, you've got to start making the best, highest choices that you can. Nothing can happen without your participation. So talking about it isn't good enough anymore. We're going to keep getting challenged financially. And you could also, this could be the most abundant year or decade of your life because you're shifting over and doing something amazing for people and bringing value to the world and getting rewarded for it. But instead of, you know, buying gold-plated faucets, handles, you know, you're going to say, you know what, I don't need all this stuff anymore. Wow, I can do some really cool stuff with that. Even if it's taking a friend out to dinner who's struggling or giving to, you know, animal causes and those people that are out there in the trenches doing cool stuff. Whatever it is, you know, go in your closet and pull out things that, you know, you don't really need. You know what that is. Oh, it's beautiful. If you want to go shopping, go, go in your closet, right? <laughs> and then you'll find yourself, and I'm wearing it. Why am I not wearing it? Because it's really not one of my favorites. How many things can we wear? I have a lot of really cool stuff. I got rid of two-thirds of everything when I moved here. Whew, it was freeing. You know what? I can't remember one thing that I've missed. Not one. You know what? This is such a short period of time for us, and we came here to master all of this. This is why it's going to continue to challenge us. It's going to keep appearing until we master it. When we master it, it has no reason to show up. Illness couldn't possibly show up, right? If there are no imbalances. And so when we're there for each other, even if the challenges show up, the response is going to be amazing. It's going to be actually an amazing experience for us because you're going to realize, oh, wow, I couldn't have experienced how great that feels unless I'd have gone into this challenge. I couldn't experience what it's like to make somebody else feel really good. And they hugged me and said, thank you, unless there was a challenge. 
So we're going to get it more and more and more because we want it, we're ready for it, and we're ready to break through them. Come take Breakthrough Fear. I'll teach you. I'll teach you how to go through all of that. I have five stars. People have transformed their lives. And they still go through the same stuff that we do, but it, they handle it completely different. It doesn't have to rule you. Don't go into fear or hoarding or this is mine. You know what? I say, Phew. oh well, if there's not enough of something, I guess I'll figure it out. I think somebody's going to step up and help me because I'll be helping other people. We're going to have to learn how to do that. And when we do, there'll be no lack. There's abundance. No one ever has to go without anything. How did that happen? Right? We're creating it. All of that's going to change. We're going to have new energy sources that are not going to rely on fossil fuels. We're going to have ways to clean up our waters. We're going to stop using things that dirty our waters. We're going to stop using chemicals in our foods that give us cancer. And then we're raising billions of dollars, trillions of dollars to cure it. Then we go into fast foods. Does this make any sense? <laughs> McFly! So get ready. But I want you to realize, wow, I get to participate in this huge transition of this planet and everything that I do. Whew, I can make a difference because this will dissolve. We're dissolving it. And it, we can't dissolve it until it's in our face, right? If the problem's not in the room, you don't know where it is. You can't go solve the problem. The problem's in your face. It's like, here it is. Let's work on this. Let's take care of this. Let's master this. And then transform the world. And it is transforming. It is. So get ready and say, here we go. We're going to handle it. We're going to do it. You know, instead of running around trying to find the new real estate deal or, you know, stock investment, start a business. People are online. They're spending money online. They want resources. They want solutions. Start a business. Make money traveling around the world. You don't have to go in an office when you do this. You could have to put in work. Well, what are you doing right now? If you love what you do, congratulations. Most people don't. I love what I do. That's why I get up at 5.30 in the morning. I took a walk. It was an amazing experience. And I thought, don't miss out on this. Don't miss out. My free videos down here, Manifest Anything. I introduce you to my courses. I give you some ways for you to start to tap into your power, break through your fears, activate your magic, get a new uh, a way of, of earning money, signing up for those. Uh, your health, I give you healthy choices, how to clean up your house, your body, your mind, your energy field. You can do this. You are the power of the universe. You can do this. You are that important. Don't you ever question your importance. We're equally beautiful and perfect and important. We're just different expressions. It's your challenge. If you feel you're a disadvantage, it's your challenge to recognize and come back to the fact that you know that you are not less than. That's your challenge. And start to love yourself. Because I love you. Because you are me. You and I are one energy, different expressions. How cool is that? You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Oh, my beautiful, perfect angel. If you only knew what I knew about you. Namaste.